Conway Hall is an arts venue, um, but it's also a library. Um, we do events, we put on our own programme, um, so we have lectures, debates, courses, art exhibitions, and of course the Sunday concerts. A sort of weird and wonderful place in a, in a good way, and a lot of people cherish it for the variety of things that go on here. Uh, musical rehearsals, we have dance, there's a very popular tango evening that happens on, on Fridays. We even have a beehive on the roof, which uh, bees are obviously producing our very own Conway Hall honey. And it's perhaps most known by people in the music world, if they don't know the concerts, uh, for the piano auctions that take place here uh, four times a year. activities that take place at Conway Hall, the Sunday concerts are actually our main event. They are what's the biggest number of people come through the door, and I guess they really are sort of flagship product. We built Conway Hall in 1929, and we purposely looked at the auditorium, or the main hall as we call it, and treated that acoustically so that the concerts would have a home which was an international venue. The history of the Sunday concerts is a very long one. In fact, we think that we're probably the longest running chamber music series in Europe. And they began really in 1878. There are so many venues in London which are wonderful to perform in, but uh, I would definitely say Conway Hall is up there with the best, take into account the uh, atmosphere, the warmth, uh, the intimate setting, the acoustic, the welcoming audience. It's absolutely perfect for, for chamber music. Acoustically it's lovely. Um, you feel in a very good spatial relationship with whoever's on the stage. It has a kind of slightly private feeling that other concert halls don't have and, and you feel a bit privileged to be there, I think, which is, which is a nice feeling. We're set right in the heart of central London, but we're on a beautiful, quiet square, and we're very close to a tube station, a lot of bus stops. And the best thing for many of our audience members is that we have free parking uh, on Red Lion Square and on the nearby roads on a Sunday. So I guess there's really no excuse for just getting into your car and coming to a concert. Mm -hmm. 